Hi, I'm at the Millionaire Corner. I'm at the Writer's Block, and I'm talking with Kent about what you should be checking out this week on our website. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. So what should our readers be checking out this week? You know, there's a big argument about minimum wage in this country and that everybody, uh, the fast food workers all want to get paid uh, what they call a living wage. And, and, and the suggestion that it goes up to $15 is twice uh, the national minimum wage currently. And companies are arguing that they can't afford to pay minimum wage workers $15. But there's a solution. Some companies now are investigating using robots to do the work that fast food workers do. Um, and that includes food preparation. There are now robots that can make hamburgers, for instance, and companies are looking into replacing their fast food workers with robots who don't require minimum wage. Um, they require maintenance, but uh, so there's a story about robots replacing humans at fast food restaurants. Oh my God, you, we, are like, we are like the Jetsons, first of all. I do not eat fast food. I'm totally against it. I'm against GMOs. I'm against all the processed stuff. But you're putting Americans out of work. Like. Well, I know, and that's. But we've been talking about that for a hundred. Breaks my heart. We've been talking about that for a hundred years, where we're all just going to be sitting around while robots do everything for us. So. That's um, an interesting story. Well, yeah. I had no idea. Um, and then uh, n next week, there's going to be a story about the um, average wage for CEOs and much f among Fortune 500 companies okay. has now reached ten million dollars. It's the highest average wage for a CEO and the story includes a list of the top five Fortune 500 CEOs um, and their salaries and the top person makes over 70 million dollars a year. So that's a good story to get mad about if you're not making 70 million dollars a year. <laughs> okay. Um, Following the story about minimum wage. I mean like these are some good stories. Um, and then there's going to be a story next week, a premium story, about our research on four-day work weeks. Um, it's, a, it's a topic that's been around for a couple of decades, the idea that you work 10 hours a day, four days a week, and then have three days off. And we talked to our investors uh, in our investor pulse uh, studies about how they feel about four-day work weeks, whether they think a four-day work week, work week is a good idea, um, whether they would want their employees to work 40 hours, 10 hours a day, or cut it down to 36 hours. Um, and there's a lot of opinion as to a lot of companies that are doing it, a lot of companies that refuse to do it. So that's what this story is going to be about. How are you doing today, Donald? I am well, thank you. And yourself on this beautiful day? I'm pretty good. Can't complain. So what should we be checking out? Okay. Well, um, we have a couple of um, interviews to uh, talk about. The first is up on our site now with Rachel Cruz, who is the daughter of Dave Ramsey. And he is the get out of debt guru. Okay. He wrote the Bible of getting out of debt called Total Money Makeover. Now, the two of them have collaborated for the first time on a book called Smart Money, Smart Kids, and it's directed at parents okay. on how to raise financially responsible children. And I have an interview with her, and that's on the site. Um, in my entertainment blog this week, I talked about the uh, Washington Post uh, film critics essay that blamed in part the films of Judd Apatow, of all things, on influencing the shooter in, uh, in, in, Stamp, in, uh, in Isla Vista. And uh, blame Apatow doesn't have the same ring as blame Canada, uh, you know, from South Park, but it's just as ridiculous yeah. as we address that in the blog. Um, what else have we got next week? Uh, we look to have an interview with Joey Fairman. He is a CFA. Okay. And speaking of financial literacy, he has written a book, uh, an adventure novel for young adults, The Pirates of Financial Freedom. Ah. And basically, it's uh, it incorporates basic concepts of personal finance. So I'll be talking to him about uh, writing that. Okay. Well, these yeah. are going to be some great stories. I don't know, I'm a little neutral on the subject, but speaking of neutral... <laughs> We are going, Donald, you are so funny. Speaking of neutrals, that is what my fashion blog is about this week. We are going to be talking about neutral clothing, and I have a really cool pair of pants that we're going to have up for you. There's a white pair of pants that is by Joe's Jeans, and it is stain resistant to liquids such as tea, coffee, soda, like the average things that you're driving in your car and you're wearing your white pants and you're drinking, you know, your tea and you spill, and then, you know, for the rest of the day you have brown spots on your pants and then you have to go home and so gone we're gonna be talking about this great pair of white 
jeans by Joe's that is stain resistant. And also we're talking about some other great neutrals that are going to get you through the summer. So make sure you stop by this Monday to check out my blog and all the other great stories that we have here at Millionaire Corner. I'm Heather Kylie. Thanks for watching.